All right, how about we start with you? Sure. All right. So basically, um, say who you are and what your particular interest in is during the EGU days. So like, what are you particularly interested in? Maybe linear algebra or something. <laughs> Um, and also, if you have any particular things you've done already related to Sage that you think other people might be interested in, like you're really good at converting textbooks to Sage worksheets or something like that, then you could also mention that if you want. Okay? So you can start with Rob. Uh, Rob Beezer from University of Puget Sound, which is about 30 miles south of here, so I think everybody knows that I've been working on the organization of this workshop. I grew up about two miles south of here. And as a, as a 14 year old, I'd come up to campus and, and cause trouble and act cool. Uh, so when you see the 14 year olds on campus this week, subtract 40 years from me. And that's, that's who I used to be. Uh, but the point is, I know that I know the Seattle area. So if you've got questions uh, about where to find things or, or the area, you can certainly ask me about that as well. Uh, I'm really interested in putting Sage into open source textbooks. I guess that's my main emphasis the next few days. I've been here doing the developer workshop. I've been coding a lot of stuff for Sage as well, so uh, you can ask me questions about that process or, or what goes on there. Okay. Next. Uh, my name is Edgar Josso. I teach math at North Seattle Community College, which is like a couple miles north of on I-5 here. Uh, I teach the whole spectrum at the college, and uh, in particular, I, I have used a little bit of Sage in my Calc 3 and we have Calc 4 as vector calculus and linear algebra, <coughs> and um, but have not used, and I only use it to demonstrate things in the classroom, not to actually give support sheets, just to miss to work on. But I think it's very interested in, in, in using that more at the college, and I'm very interested in using uh, and having more people at the college to use it. Okay. okay. I'm uh, David Perkinson. I'm at uh, Reed College, the math department there, and. Um, I've been using Sage for several years now, so I've incorporated it into my classes, uh, mainly just uh, to use it uh, for examples. Uh, Reed is one of the test sites for this this project for the next couple of years. And um, let's see, I've written uh, some code that has to do with the uh, abelian sand pile model. And so <coughs> while I'm up here, I, I want to just uh, talk with people about incorporating Sage into classes, but I might also try to get some help speeding up that code by siphonizing it. That's my main interest. Okay. Yep. I'm Rao Patlore from Reed College. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, really new to Sage. Um, I'm sure everybody here knows more than I do about Sage, uh, but I'm excited about the possibility of learning. <clears throat> I'm primarily interested in how I can use SAGE uh, to improve uh, my teaching in abstract algebra, which I'll be doing next spring. Um, I work mostly in representation theory of finite groups, and I have some conjectures in my mind uh, related to the character, uh, character uh, degrees and the structure of the group. And I'm hoping that uh, by learning Sage, I can verify some of those conjectures and so on. Have you used other software systems such as GAP or Magma very much for uh, your research? Not much, but a little, just a little bit. Which one? Uh, GAP, mostly. Cool. Which is in Sage. Yeah, that's what I hear. Okay, next. I'm Dan Drake. I work at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, KAIST. I just say KAIST. Um, I've done a lot of work on Sage Tech, uh, integrating Sage into your LaTeX documents, and uh, yeah, that's all. I'll, I'll be working on a bit of that here, reviewing some tickets, and uh, following the notebook rewrite. So. Cool. Hi, I'm uh, William Stein, and I'm here at the University of Washington, and I've been working on Sage for a while, and. Um, I'm mainly here for the notebook days, which um, I've been, I guess, working on making it so that sagemb.org is fast and actually usable, and I think that it now is, and much easier to maintain for people besides me. Um, so we've definitely improved the uh, scalability of the notebook. And I'm also just generally interested in what sort of educational stuff is going on related to Sage. Like I wrote um, 
a very, very, very rough draft of a book on Sage for a course I taught last quarter. And um, maybe I can show people a draft of it or something and get feedback. Okay, and then next we have Kiran Kedlaya. He's right here. Um, Kiran says, so here's Kiran. Looks like some Indian guy. Um, but he's at UCSD. And he's on an Alaska Airlines flight at this very moment. And he says on chat that he wants me to mention that he's one of the PIs on the CCLI grant. And that's, I guess he's just interested in um, finding out more about what other people are doing. Okay, so that's Kiran Kedlaya. Now next we have Carl Peter Christman. Yep, and uh, so I've been here for the notebook days and uh, made some progress helping with the notebook, but uh, actually Mike Hansen's been helping me a lot learn how to help with the uh, Sigwin Windows port, so that's been great. And then reviewing all kinds of different tickets. Uh, and now uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to help a lot of people who are here for the education learn about how to use it in their classrooms uh, and talk about number theory in particular uh, everything else in general. Hi, I, I'm Bruce Cohen. I teach uh, math at, at Lowell High School in San Francisco. It's a big public magnet school. And I was also here for the first few days on the notebook. And one of the things that um, I'd like to get out of um, the sessions here is that, that I've been using SAGE myself, but I would really like my calculus students to use it as well. So people that are here that are, um, teach calculus, that would be great. Um, I discovered uh, web work. Um, the last few days, and I'm excited about that. Um, also, I've been using GeoGebra for several years with my uh, geometry students, and this week found a way to put a GeoGebra um, worksheet into Sage. And so if people are interested in that, I'm happy to show that off and, uh, and talk to people about using it. Cool. Okay, Jason. Um, I'm Jason Grout, and uh, from Drake University. I've been working a lot on SAGE, various parts of SAGE, mainly oriented to undergraduate uses of SAGE uh, for the last several years. So if you have a plotting or a linear algebra or notebook question, I might be able to help you out. Um, I've been working a lot on the notebook, uh, particularly this week. We have a small group at Drake University that's uh, uh, working on making embed interacts and things that you can embed in web pages other than the Sage notebook and uh, making things a lot more scalable. Okay. okay. And I'm Tom Judson. I'm from Stephen F. Austin State University in East Texas. Uh, let's see. I'm part of one of the other PIs on the Utmost Grant and I have an open source abstract algebra textbook which I think might be the first textbook that we've converted over to a Sage worksheet. And I class tested it this uh, spring, and tomorrow I'll tell you everything that I did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Jane Wong. I'm from Stephen F. Austin State University also. Um, I'm going to be teaching linear algebra as part of the utmost grant um, next semester. And I've also been doing the um, online prep workshop that Jason and Carl Dieter did, which has been really helpful. And so. We're about three quarters of the way through that, and um, I'm playing with things on my own, and I'm excited to be here. So thanks. I'm Ian McCurry. I'm at Acadia University in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. Um, I've been using Sage a little bit in a linear algebra class that I teach um, the past two years, um, and I'm also looking at uh, writing an open content online calculus textbook. Mm -hmm. I'm Ben Lebeck. Uh, I'm an undergrad right now at Brown. Um, I'm <coughs> working here at the UW this summer, um, and I'm just here at the workshop trying to uh, absorb information and learn as much as I can. And right now, I'm working on learning HTML. Great. Okay. I'm Michael Pearson. I'm with the MAA, as my shirt uh, <laughs> uh, suggests. And uh, we're I, I was a faculty member myself for a long time before joining uh, the staff of the association, so I'm certainly curious about SAGE for my own interest. I taught numerical analysis using MATLAB for a number of years, and so interested in seeing how many of my scripts I can port over into SAGE. I may I to play around with that just for fun, but, but my professional interest here is to see how 
the interest of the uh, SAGE community and the interest of the MAA community fit together. We're always looking for ways that we can um, enrich the uh, ability of our, our, our community to uh, do a better job in all kinds of ways, whether it's in the classroom or in our research, scholarly endeavors. And um, so I'm here to really be the proverbial fly on the wall, listen, learn as much as I can, and hopefully have some discussions with folks about how your interest and uh, the interest of the uh, professional associations might, uh, might fit together. Uh, I'm Michael Gage from the University of Rochester. I'm one of the original designers of WebWork, which is an online homework system, uh, open source, uh, that a fair number of people are using. And my main interest was to come here and find out what kinds of cooperation we could do with SAGE, uh, both the programs, the SAGE program and the WebWork program, and also the SAGE community and the WebWork community. There's a lot I can learn, at least from the SAGE community, about how to organize an open source endeavor, and I've, I've really enjoyed the last three days that I've been here. I'm Jason Aubrey from the University of Missouri in Columbia, and I'm here along with Mike, uh, representing the WebWork project, looking for ways to um, integrate Sage and WebWork and WebWork and Sage, and it's been really fantastic meeting all the Sage people, getting to work with them, learning a lot more about Sage, and uh, we've made some good progress, and I'm pretty excited about it. Cool. Hi, I'm TJ Hitchman from the University of Northern Iowa, and I'm, I'm here as part of the Utmost Project. I'll be working as one of the test sites uh, teaching linear algebra this next year. <laughs> oh, okay, and, and I did the MA prep work, workshop, so I'm the male version of Jane. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Great fun. Um, I'm, I'm John Perry um, at the University of Southern Mississippi. Um, I, uh, what am I supposed to tell you now? <laughs> why you're here. Oh, why you're here? Uh, well, I guess um, I was asked to come talk about some stuff I did for a calculus class um, about three years ago. And uh, I've contributed both to development and uh, to education with SAGE. Cool. I'm John Travis. I'm also from Mississippi, Mississippi College. We're about an hour and a half away. I don't ever talk. Um, uh, yesterday I was able to submit my first ticket, uh, so I, I nice. got, got one get started there. What number? Uh, about plot 3D, is a, oh. an error. I, I can't fix it, but I can sure submit it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, today I'm going to be doing the thing on multivariate presentation. I'm really interested in interacts, and one of the things I like to start doing is see if I can find a way of collecting the, the better interacts, let them kind of bubble to the top, so when people want to do something, they can find the better ones, so they're finding a brilliant that just work. And then Parsons is getting, getting used to the culture. Well, cool. right. uh, my name is Paul Sharaba. Uh, I am from I'm an undergrad at Cleveland State University. Um, I'm here as a continuation of the Sage Days, but I'm also here to just learn as much as I can and learn uh, any of the tools that I don't even know myself, and hopefully learn as much as I can. It's like holding them back. Cool. Hi, uh, I'm Wayan Paul from Cal State Dominguez Hills. And I'm here thanks to the Upmost Grant, and my campus is one of the test sites. Um, I will be teaching number theory using Sage next semester. I have been using Sage for a couple of years myself, but in classroom I mainly use it just for demonstrations and writing solutions for students. And um, so I'm here just to want to learn more how to use it in teaching, and so um, hopefully I will learn some more. Uh, hi, I'm Michael Garcia. <clears throat> uh, I'm a master's student at SF State, uh, San Francisco State. And uh, my primary purpose here is to uh, uh, learn as much as I can about SAGE, uh, but also to um, work on my research. Um, there's a couple conjectures that I'm working under with my thesis advisor, and I found that I can do some functions in Singular and then some things in Mathematica, and then I discovered that there's a possibility of kind of putting them all together in SAGE. So I guess specifically I'm trying to compute heights of ideals uh, with integer polynomials from deriving from Laurent polynomials. And so I'm trying to basically create a program where I input four variables <clears throat> or four parameters that essentially pump out uh, heights of ideals. 
And so I'm very new to all of this. Uh, I'm learning, trying to learn Python, trying to learn Sage. And so when I heard about this workshop, I decided to jump on and see what I can grab. Cool. Uh, my name is Mike Hansen. Um, I've been primarily here for the um, blog slash notebook days um, and working on uh, making the notebook scale better for, for example, sagemp.org or also um, for classroom use. So I've been working on that for the last couple of days. It's great success. <laughs> um, I'm Berkeley. originally from Iowa, but uh, living in Berkeley right now. I'm Jason Hill. I'm from the University of Colorado at Boulder. Uh, I was here for notebook days, and I'm here for education days. Uh, I've been doing some stuff in the notebook for GAP uh, the later part of the week here. I've also been developing our uh, university SAGE server. Uh, it's going to be available here in probably about a month for campus use. Um, I want to try to develop some stuff for my classes later this fall. I've used Sage in the classroom before, but I want to use it more. So that's one of my goals for the rest of the week. And Andre? Uh, my name is uh, Andrei Novoselcova. I am from Moz University of Alberta. Uh, my primary work in Sage uh, is related to toric geometry, and uh, here I am for Sage uh, Backend Notebook days, fixing some issues that uh, came up during my work. Uh, uh, but I'm also very interested in uh, using Sage uh, for teaching. Uh, I actually hope to teach a course uh, on toric geometry using Sage uh, extensively. Uh, and I'm also interested in uh, Sage Tech, uh, which I think is a great uh, way and uh, it would be even better to make it even greater. Cool. Okay. Did anybody else miss the introductions? We got everybody. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, excellent.